Welcome to my lecture online. Our next challenge is the following problem. They tell us that if A is perpendicular to B, assuming A and B are vectors, then the magnitude of the sum of two vectors must equal to the magnitude of the difference of the two vectors. And we're supposed to show that. Hmm, how do we start? Well, we have two vectors here, A and B, in general format. So we have the A sub X, A sub Y, A sub Z in the I, J, K direction, the B sub X, the B sub Y, the B sub Z, Z in the I, J, K direction, but that still doesn't give us a hint of how to go about it. But then we realize if we take the dot product of two vectors, well, if they're perpendicular, that dot product is equal to zero. In other words, if we go A dot B, that is equal to the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B times the cosine of the angle between them. Now, if they're perpendicular, the cosine of 90 degrees, that's equal to zero. So therefore, this is equal to zero if theta equals 90 degrees. And of course, that is the case if the two vectors are perpendicular. Which means that we can say that AX, BX, because another way of writing the dot product, so we can say that a dot b is equal to ax bx plus ay by plus az bz, and that also must equal to zero. Hmm, now we have an idea. Let's go ahead and add the two vectors together, see what we get. So now we say that a plus b is equal to uh, ax plus bx in the i direction plus a y plus b y in the j direction plus a z plus b z in the k direction. And of course, if we then take the difference between the two, we can say that a minus b is therefore equal to a x minus b x in the i direction plus a y minus b y in the j direction plus a z minus b z in the k direction. I wonder if you begin to realize where I'm going with all this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate the magnitude of a plus b. So now we can say that the magnitude of a plus b by definition is equal to the square root of the sum of the squares of the components. Now the components here is ax plus bx, so it would be ax plus bx quantity squared plus ay plus by quantity squared plus az plus bz quantity squared. And now let's go ahead and write that out and see what that looks like. So this is equal to the square root of, I think we're going to need a lot of room here, so here we have ax squared plus 2axbx plus bx squared. And I'm going to say plus ay squared plus 2ayby plus by squared plus az squared plus, now see here we have uh, 2azbz plus bz squared. All right, now notice here, we know that AXBX plus AYBY plus AZBZ is equal to zero. And notice we have a 2AXBX, a 2AYBY, and a 2AYZ, uh, AZBZ. So if one times the sum of those three equals zero, then twice the sum of those three equals zero. So in other words, these terms here added together should go to zero. And if that's the case, because from here we can say that this plus this plus this equals zero, so twice that plus twice that plus twice that must equal zero as well. Two times zero is still zero. In other words, this can then be written as the square root of, and here we have ax squared plus bx squared plus ay squared plus by squared plus az squared plus bz squared. All right, now that we have the magnitude of a plus b, let's calculate the magnitude of a minus b to see if we come up with the same result. After all, we're trying to show that these are equal to each other. So if we're going to write 
the magnitude of A minus B, that's going to be equal to the same thing here, except we have AX plus BX is going to be AX minus BX. So it's going to be the square root of, and then we have AX minus BX, quantity squared, plus AY minus BY, quantity squared, plus AZ minus BZ, quantity squared. And now let's go ahead and work all that out and see what we get. So starting over here, we can now write that the magnitude of A minus B is equal to the square root of, and I think we're going to have to wrap around here, but let's go ahead and do that. So I have AX squared plus, oh, not plus because I have a minus in there. Let's get rid of that plus. So it gives us minus 2AXBX plus BX squared plus this term squared, which is ay squared minus 2abyby plus by squared. And of course, this then wraps around. So we have continuing over here because I'm running out of room. So then we have az squared minus 2azbz plus bz squared. So that's all underneath the same radical here. But then again, you realize that AXBX plus AYBY plus AZBZ, that is equal to zero. AXBX, oh, AXBX, that should be an X here. Mm. Good thing we caught it. All right, that's an X here. So AXBX plus AYBY plus AZBZ is equal to zero, which means that this plus this plus this equals zero, and the minus 2 in front of that doesn't make any difference. That's still going to be equal to 0. So those ter terms can be dropped, which means that this is equal to the square root of, and when we say this, we mean the magnitude of A minus B is equal to AX squared plus BX squared plus AY squared plus BY squared plus AZ squared plus BZ squared. And notice that then this here is exactly the same as what we have over here. So this is equal to this, and that means that the magnitude of A plus B is equal to the magnitude of A minus B, and that's what we're trying to show. In case two vectors are perpendicular to one another, then the magnitude of the sum of the two vectors is equal to the magnitude of the difference of the two vectors. So that's how we show that.